let's talk through exactly how these wristbands work. Arriving at the event. Once you're at the event and you've gone through security, the ticketing staff will give you your wristband, then you can make your way to one of the top-up stations that are clearly marked. Topping up at the event. The first step of topping up your wristband is to scan it under the RFID reader. Then, let the cashier know how much you want to top up, and once it's all done, they can let you know the total balance. Don't be stingy, don't be hasty. You don't want to be doing this all day, so put a good amount on. If you're running low and need more of a top up, just head back to one of the stations and they'll take care of you. Once your wristband is all topped up, you're free to purchase anything and everything at the event. Go crazy. Spending up while at the event. When purchasing something, the first step is to just scan your wristband under the RFID reader. Then, let the lovely person behind the till know what it is that you want to purchase. Once the transaction's done, then they can let you know how much is left on your account. And if they don't, feel free to ask them. Refunding your leftover money. When leaving the event, make sure you grab yourself the refund card. It's got some easy to follow steps to make sure that you get your refund. But if you've missed out on that, don't worry, head to dashtickets.com, then select your country, and up on the homepage is some easy to follow steps to get your refund. But there are a few other things you also need to know. Firstly, keep a hold of your wristband. It's got a unique number on it, and that's how you're gonna get your money back. Secondly, if it's $5 or under, you can't get a refund, so keep an eye on your account balance because we don't want you missing out. And third, your refund will be processed within three working days of your request. Then it's up to your bank when you get paid. That's it, we're done. No more queues. Just scan your way through the event, hassle free. Boom.